Our plant is planting. Our plant is panting. Repeat, our plant is planting. This is not a drill. What's up, everybody? I'm Kelsey, and I love colorful things. We're back once again with another episode of the Not So Very Challenge Green Generation. This is probably the longest generation we've ever had. I don't know how it got away from me. It is the penultimate generation, so it's not the end of the world that it's so long. It's kind of nice. I'm loving this family, and I don't want to let them go. Today, we are hopefully going to find the last ingredient to resurrect Ivy back to human dumb so that we can finally have a baby with our beloved boyfriend who might you know become a little more than that at some point too this family deserves this moment we're doing a holiday miracle today if you aren't already subscribed make sure to hit that button to help me get to my goal of 900,000 subscribers it would be the world to me all right let's hop into the video since you last saw this lovely little squad you may be thinking that we have a little bit less money than when we last left us and that is true because we did a bit of a makeover. We decked out Ivy's secret little lair upstairs, her gamer lair. I flip and love it. I think it's phenomenal. We did upgrade our Sweet Baby Angel's room as well. I'm pretty proud of it. I think it looks pretty cute. So this, oh, we're in the wrong room. This is her room. I was trying to give her like a very preppy child vibe. I definitely was inspired by this bed, to be honest. We did upgrade her dollhouse and her kind of little activity corner. It turned out great. We even have a little area over here for her to put like photos of her family so that can get into the early photography skills. We added a couple items to mom's room, but really not that much. But we did do mom's bathroom. We gave it a much needed update, which I'm pretty proud of as well. I love this tile in there. I think it's chef's kiss. We upgraded a couple of the appliances in the kitchen here. Oh my gosh, we don't need a high chair anymore. Actually, we might need a high chair because we're gonna have another baby. So we might as well keep it. Hey, 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 hey. That's all the upgrades that happened since last time. Ooh, I wonder, can she take a photo? <gasps> she can. Let's take a photo of Ivy as a ghost. She wants to memorize this. We're gonna have her start her first little photograph. Move so that your daughter can take a photo of you. I want her to take a photo especially if this is the last time we're seeing Ivy as a ghost. This is the last episode of Ghost Ivy. We need some photo evidence. Look at that, look at her mom. Oh, what a great pose here by mama. There we go. And she's blue, which is great. I'm gonna put that in one of her little photo frames. It's pretty funny that the ghost photo is really blurry. I think that's amazing. So in order to make Ivy alive, if I haven't fully explained it yet, we can make ambrosia, which is a specialty recipe, which lovely Fletcher St. James happens to be a level 10 on the gourmet cooking. It can bring a ghost back to life or reset the age of a living sim. We need angel fish, which we have one of. We need a potion of youth, which we have one of. And we need the death flower. That's the one ingredient that I'm still trying to hunt down. It does show up at a potions shop in the realm of magic universe. So that's where we've gone every day to make sure that we don't miss the death flower showing up. And in doing so, we actually found them selling the angel fish last episode if you missed it. So that's why we have all of those. So we just just waiting essentially for that last ingredient so our man Fletcher can res his beloved Ivy. To Glimmerbrook we go in our hunt once again. I think that we went today. Like I think we normally go early in the morning when everyone's asleep. So I feel like we already went on Saturday but it doesn't hurt to check again. I must have this. This will happen. I will will it into being. I'm getting better and better about finding this Archwan. It's been really fun though playing her as a ghost. I'm not gonna lie. I've never like played a ghost character this much and it's kind of cute. Oh my gosh, she has no shadow. That's hilarious. The phone does though. Oh my God, wait. I think that was just an invite to the romance festival. I'm required to accept every and all invites. Ah! Going to the romance festival. Who invited me? Let's try. Okay, I think it was Faith. It was someone in a hat like that though. We're gonna take Fletcher cause he's you know, romance. And then we're gonna take River. I'm gonna triple check to see if anyone else looks like someone that we might have gone to the festival with. Nope, I'm pretty sure it was Faith. All right, we're going to the festival, Faith. Romance festival. I think that's in San Machuno. Okay, we're here. Okay, we went to the, is this, this is the romance festival, right? Hello? No, I went to the wrong one. All right, we're here, yay! We're 
at the festival. Arrived at the romance festival. Thank you so much, Faith, for inviting me. It is technically New Year's. Look at this little family. Oh, Ivy's doing a cute little toast. Oh my gosh, she's a jokester. River and Ivy are jokesters together. They like to laugh together. That's so cute. You know what? It'll be really traumatic to River once her mom dies because she's had her mom die already and she's kind of like, oh, well, she just come back as a ghost. That might not always be the case, my sweet baby angel. Also, River, I think this is, wait, this is the scene of the crime. We were going into Planet Honey Pop. <gasps> I think we died here. Ah! Okay, it's it's for the best. So hopefully we don't get spooked out. Mourn the dead from being gloomy. She does want to mourn the dead. Ivy's getting some fun thing. Kurt Volokov, wait a second. Kurt Volokov might have invited us. R regardless, we're here. Did River make a resolution? She didn't. Okay, I think hers should be raise the skill. Oh, River made a resolution. Oh, praise effort and creativity growth. Oh, that's so cute that Ivy's gonna praise her for taking photos. This would be a pretty good spot New Year's Eve to ask Ivy to marry him. I'm just saying. Heat of the moment proposal. Ah! I didn't know that was a thing. Oh my God. Wait, 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 wait. My daughter's not here. Okay. We can't do this if my daughter's not here. I'm sorry. Ivy's here. Ivy's here. She could watch a river. I mean, gosh, darn it. Fudger's proposing to Ivy. He's like, Ivy, will you marry me? And she's like, I will. And River's kind of not paying attention, but it's fine. I'm gonna pretend that she was watching and approves and is happy. She's definitely going to want to resurrect before the wedding. This puts a little bit of a fire under her to get that all done. Let's go home because I don't want to miss the countdown to midnight since everybody loves that. Okay, we got 30 minutes. We got 30 minutes. Come on team. Everybody watch the countdown to midnight, please. Okay, here we go, Shushubi. I love that <laughs> Ivy's like a little off from the rest of them. She says it a little before them. Five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year! Can you do like a little kiss? Like a little New Year's kiss? Yeah! They watched the countdown and these two are kissing in the new year. But everyone's gonna go off to sleep. Good night, River. We're gonna quickly, gonna take a quick little shower. Gonna get some food. Ivy's having cake. Okay, Ivy. I did not expect you to have cake, but that's that's fine. River's coming down for breakfast as well. Gonna give a little hug before we head out. Death flower, come on, death flower. We can do it. Put a little power to it, death flower. Oh, it's, is this not open yet? We're gonna go here. It's just now opening. Perfect. Buy some potions ingredients. Here we go. Death flower, death flower. Okay, it's another angel fish. All right, no death flower today. We gotta go home then. We gotta work on our mixology skill anyways. River, why don't you take a photo of Fletcher here? Cause we were gonna take a photo of him before. Oh, you could take photos of Kiwi. Oh my God, what a pose, Kiwi. Yes, Kiwi, new pose. Perfect. Boom, head to tail. We got some new photos. Let's see if any of them are good quality. Normal. Okay, we got some normal ones of Kiwi. Oh, so cute. We can't really see because it's dark in the room right now. We're gonna go over here and we're gonna draw some people. Maybe it's grandma or grandpa. Ooh, yes, she completed the first level of her aspiration. Good job, sweetie baby girl. Okay, now she's level eight. Fletcher would get a kick out of her picking up violin because he likes violin. I wonder if he can like advise her. I wish that he could. Mentor! <gasps> he can, he's gonna go mentor her on violin. Look at these two, they're loving it. And he was vibing it. He wasn't even weirded out by the noise or anything. I think her skill is going way up because of his mentorship, which is very cool. Yeah, she's inspired again. Amira Hadid is wondering if I wanna go to her house and hang out. Yep, and we're gonna go hang out since I am required to do so. It's Amira, thank you, Amira. I feel like they both should introduce themselves to Amira. Probably like, I didn't expect you to introduce your whole family, but it's all good. I feel like we could all watch a movie together. A little family movie night. I feel bad that Amira's standing to watch her own TV. Oh my God, my mom's here. Why did you invite my mom? Can you take a photo of grandma? Say cheese, grandma. Oh, wow. What a good photo this is. New pose. Okay, perfect. 
correct. Loving the smile. I know she's an elder too, which is very funny that she does it really. She looks like she's gotten some work done. That's for sure. Okay. River goes to school tomorrow. So we got to get her in bed. We're back home. We got to put our girl to bed. She's having some food. Okay. That's fine. Honestly, they could have a little, little sneaky woohoo moment here. Washing her dish and then we're going to put her off to bed. And Fletcher's. Oh, wow. Okay. I, I didn't realize they were already. It was already happening. <laughs> Fletcher's woohooing a ghost. I don't know how that works. Daughter, go back to sleep. You gotta sleep before school. Uh-oh. Family member, Carson K Kirma. I'm assuming that's on her dad's side. Kaden, who are these people? Sister. Okay, so it's one of Kaden's sisters. Kaden had a lot of siblings. Both her parents are dead. Oh, and look, it's Rose. Uh, and August. August has three kids now. Axel's gotten so big. I hate that the family tree didn't quite stay. I'm assuming it's something I did, but I don't know what it was. River's off to school. Oh my goodness. Listen to your teacher. Fletcher's gonna go dance in the morning. That's cute, but you could go take a shower, which might be a good idea. She's feeling confident. Maybe just wash your hands too. Get your hygiene up a bit more. And then while you're waiting, you can practice making drinks. Oh, principal visit. Today, the principal is visiting River's class. Everyone is to be on their best behavior and not interrupt the lesson. Unfortunately, the kid sitting behind her has decided to pelt her with something. Should she ignore it or ask the kid to stop? She was kind of like a sassy baby where she would destroy stuff, but she also just wants to be perfect all the time. But I feel like in the quest to be perfect, she might get snappy with the other kid. So I'm gonna say she'll ask the kid to stop. River scribbles a note and says, stop it or I'll tell. The kid wads up the paper and flies it at River, but it misses and rolls up to the teacher's feet. For once, somebody else gets in trouble and River gets off scot-free. Good job, River. Oh, they're calling, they're calling him from school as well. Like he's really her dad. Oh, so cute. River spent most of recess running around trying to kiss some of the other students. Oh, oh my gosh, she didn't catch anybody. Okay, just you should tell her she's too young for kissing. Fletcher's going to work too. Bye, Fletcher. Have fun at work. River's manners are already in the range to earn the good manners rate. That's so her. A rival company contacts Fletcher privately with an offer to buy his new feather light speaker. Fletcher can sell out and take the cash or stand by his product and hope it's a simple. Oh, he should keep it. Aspen's calling and he wants to chat. That's fine. Okay, Fletcher knows the rival wouldn't take an offer if they didn't have a cause for concern. Before he knows it, they desperately tippled their offer and now Fletcher knows this idea is going to be a huge success and it's staying right there with him. So it's time for Ivy. Oh my gosh, she's thinking about babies. Yes, Ivy, keep thinking about babies. You will have a baby very soon. We have to travel to the world and go find the cure. Go Ivy, go. Ivy, go. Feel the positive vibrations. I am manifesting a death flower is gonna be there and we're gonna all cheer and clap and celebrate and just be so happy. And honestly, if by the end of this episode, I don't find it, I'm just gonna cheat it. Cause I'm not really gonna, I don't wanna wait any longer. This is the, today is the day. You've gotta be kidding me. This dude is inviting us to the humor and hygiene festival. Ugh. I know we're buds, but I had something I wanted to do. But yeah, let's go. I'm gonna bring River and Fletcher with me. It's not the move I was expecting to do right now. I was expecting to resurrect my body. We're here with Kurt Volkov. This is the humor and hijinks. Why don't you two, she needs some food. So why don't you order some food? Let's get some noodles. I don't think pho is that spicy. It could be a little spicy, but I don't think it's that spicy. Ivy needs some fun. So why don't we pick a side? Wait a second. This is the festival I think we died at. Yeah, we definitely died at this festival. So we died here. This is actually the scene of the crime, I believe. Oh, I don't love it. I don't love it. I don't want to join the jokesters or the pranksters. I want to kick this man off of the bar. So let's go tend the bar. Oh, she couldn't. Oh, shoot. Okay. Is there a bar in here that she could tend? <gasps> there is. Okay. You could go practice making drinks in there. I don't have any good vibes from this. Okay. Ivy's going to be there, but she's not going to show up. She's like, I'll come, but I will kind of not really enjoy myself. So I'm going to, I'm going to be over here. River, meanwhile, is testing out her skill. Oh, look, it's her aunt. <laughs> Bailey thinks it's so cute that she's struggling. Oh no. Oh, but
but she's sad. Sad words. What's that? Hearing something sad really brings her down. Oh, River isn't used to eating spicy foods either. You should keep talking to Bailey. Oh my gosh, and Grandma's here too. She wants to become friends with Bailey. That's so cute. She's like, I like Aunt Bailey. She's so cool. Meanwhile, Mom's just over here, tending some bar. There's no one in here, which is perfect. You know, I, I, I'm happy with this. I know that our main character's not in this scene, but I kind of don't care. I, I think it's cute that River's chatting with her aunt talking with her grandma. Like, I, th I like that it's a family affair. Are we kind of ignoring the friend that mom came with? Yes. Ivy, meanwhile, how are you doing? She's halfway through. Is this level eight? Yeah, she's halfway through level eight. We got a level and a half to go on this skill. I will get us there, okay? It's gonna happen. Oh, drink tea is a requirement. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay, we'll drink some tea then. This will join the jokesters. That was the requirement that we had getting here. I'm still happy that we made it through some of the mixology skill. I think that's nice. Oh, Fletcher's cheer Cheerful. That's so cute. I love that. That's so cute that he's like a cheerful guy because he's got a very gloomy daughter. <laughs> Oh, but I mean, I don't blame her that she's gloomy. Her mom died in front of her as a baby. It left her on the ground. We've drank our tea. We did it. Look at these two. They're hanging out. Can she take a photo of her? Oh, she did get a photo of her aunt. Okay, here we go. We got a nice little photo there. Wow, she's a, she's just modeling for us, really. These feel like model photos. I love it. I love it. Go off, River. Taking her model photos of her aunt. She, oh my gosh, River maxed her social skill. She's such a social a little bean. Look at her go. We're almost done with this requirement. Yes. Okay. The jokesters won. So we won some money and we get to see fireworks. Oh, look at that. You know what? This ended up being a very healing night for all of us. Nobody died. Wait, Amber. Oh my gosh. Amber just got gray hair. I think she just aged up. <gasps> look, she did. She just aged into an elder. There she is. She wasn't dying her hair. Ivy's going to go separately. She's going to travel by herself. And we're going to go back to the realm again. <laughs> Hopefully no one contacts us to go out. Third time's the charm or fourth time. I don't remember what time it is. We're getting that death flower. We're getting it. All right, go Ivy, go. All right, hello, we're back. Realm of magic. Please still be open. Okay, thank goodness. It looks like it's still open. Buy potion ingredients. Go, girl. It's open at 2 a.m. I didn't even think about the fact that it could be closed. Okay, here we go. Come on, death flower. Death metal. Uh, no, it's not here. It's not here. Well, it's Tuesday. We didn't even go on Monday. We might have missed it. I'm very sad. Well, that was disappointing. I guess we'll just go to bed. Oh, he's like feeling risky and flirty. <sighs> I'm still mad about the death flower. I wonder if we can find it in there. Oh my gosh, you can buy a death flower plant. Oh, and plant it in the backyard. Okay, we're gonna plant this little death flower. There it is. It's our beautiful death flower. Maybe we'll put it inside, honestly. We could put it upstairs in her secret room. Not particularly, no. I guess we could put it in her bedroom. Like she's been gardening it. Well, it might take a minute. Here's the death flower. Quality is perfect. It's sheltered. Do we need to water it? Okay, we just need to wait for it to grow. I'm cool with this. You know what? It feels a little bit like we cheated, but not too much because I got to wait for it to grow. Fletcher's gaming, doing his thing. Ivy's also gaming. What you could be doing is tending the bar. Perfect. She's listening to her music. She's having a good time. River's asleep. Fletcher can go tuck in River. Ivy's vibing. She's like having a really good time. I just want you to finish this level, please. River's got school in an hour. Go grab some leftovers from the fridge. Fletcher, maybe you should grab some leftovers too. They're both gonna sit with Ivy while she's working at the bar. The this is so cute. I love that they just hang out at the bar with Ivy in the morning. She's going, oh, she's going so sad. What a gloomy little bee. No, oh, no. And she didn't finish her homework, but there was a death in the family. So I kind of don't blame her. Ivy starts working an hour. You got this Ivy. Ooh, an unfinished assignment. When River gets to class, she realizes that her timeline is due. This is directly related to her not doing her homework. The one she was supposed to start weeks ago, she eyes the stack of papers piling up on her teacher's desk. All she needs is a few minutes alone with one. Oh, does she try to copy a classmates or confess the truth? I think this is an interesting idea because later in life, she does cheat on her significant other. In her stress to be a perfect sim and to not make any problems,
problems and to be easier on her mom who's struggling. I think she would copy a classmate, which is not the best decision. River's teacher is busy writing on the board, stuffing the top paper on her shirt. River excuses herself to the bathroom. A few minutes later and several word changes later, she got a pretty nice convincing copy in her backpack. Ooh, River. Oh God, we were so close. We were at 97% complete. Ugh, it's so annoying, but it's fine. We gotta go to work. A medium performance gain, that'll help. On Ivy, you got this, you got this Ives. Oh, River is fighting over Quentin. I think that's her cousin. There he is. Oh my gosh, Teddy and Amber. Yeah, that's Teddy and Amber's kid. Okay, so that's not her uncle. That's her second cousin. Look at them, they're family. That like weird little redheaded Jean. Love that the family came over. How's Ivy doing? Is she gonna get her promotion today? Ooh, she's really close, but I don't know if it'll be today. <gasps> our plant is planting. Our plant is planting. Repeat, our plant is planting. This is not a drill. She's getting more cake. How much cake is in there? I feel like we went through the cake. I just wish there was something I could do to make it grow faster, but that's okay. You know what we can do? We can listen to some music and practice making drinks, our favorite activity, and not the thing that we've just been doing over and over this entire video. You're so close. You're at level nine of mixology. She's only got one level away and then we'll have officially finished all the requirements besides the work requirement for her challenge. There's a new ghost in town. Ooh. Elaine Keller is haunting our house. She looks like she drowned, which is why she's dripping. I'm kind of excited to banish all the ghostly activities. I'm loving some mother-daughter time. Still nothing. Ah! I was really, really hoping for this one, guys. I wanna get at least one thing done this episode. Oh my gosh, oh, that scared the crap out of me. He's just being attacked by bats. He's okay. Ivy's still working on her skill. Oh my God, you're so close, Ivy. You're so close, you're so close. Does she have work Wednesday? He doesn't, does she? She does, she's working four hours. But four hours, I mean, that's, that's some time. Oh, they need to plan their wedding event. Oh, I feel bad, it's been days. Hey, we're so close. It's a suggestive conversation and I think it's like an hour. Let's go. Yes, we have maxed out the mixology skill. Oh my goodness, that's one more thing down on the requirements of the green generation, which means the only thing we have left is reaching level 10 of our career. And obviously waiting for this plant to flip and bloom so we can resurrect Ivy and get married and have a kid with Fletcher. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I feel pretty successful even if we didn't finish what we went out to accomplish. I like to adjust the story and say that she bought the plant from the shop and now she's growing it in her house. Okay, so that's what we're all gonna say happened. And we're gonna grow this plant and we're gonna learn how to become a little green thumbed goddess in order to resurrect ourselves, hopefully in the next episode. Our beloved Ivy is going to be aging up into a teen next week. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. Where else would you like to see the story go? And until next time, I'll see you around the internet very soon. Bye.